welcome back to my channel so if you haven't read the title already I'm doing the Colourpop Kathleen Light where the light is makeup tutorial and if you haven't checked out my review on this and also the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip I will leave a link down below so you can go check it out so as usual I'm starting off with priming my eyes with an eyeshadow base and using my finger to blend it in and next, I'm just going to take this creamy matte white color from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I'm going to put this all over my eyes so that the shadows later on will blend much more easier. And here, I'm just going to take a blending brush with this shade Collinius from the Cutting Light Quad. And also, you can see my first impression here. I was putting the Collinius color in the crease and no color showed up. So I was really digging my brush into the color and still no color showed up as I said in my review. And also, I tried using my finger. And the same thing happened, so I'm just going to move on to the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I'm going to take the color T's as you can see right here and I'm going to put that in my crease. And here I'm just going to take this dome shaped pencil brush and I'm going to take the color Blaze to smoke out my eyes. So as I'm putting this at the outer corner and dipping my brush into the pot, I really noticed that the pot really had a big dent when I put my brush into it. But this color really shows good pigmentation so I'm okay with it. So I'm just sweeping it at my outer corner and also bringing it into the crease. And taking this small angle brush from Sigma, I'm just going to use the same shade to smoke out my outer corners. And I love doing this step because it really helps your eyes to make a cat eye effect. So here you can see I'm going a little bit crazy as you can see because this shade Kathleen Light is so beautiful and in the background you can see my lips saying oh my god because it's so beautiful. So I'm just going to use my finger and dab it onto my eyes and instant pigmentation it shows. So here are some close-up shots and look how beautiful that is. And next, I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and also the color Glow. And this color is going to be my new favorite highlight for my brow bone because it's so stunning and it's matte and it fits perfectly for every look. So I'm just going to angle this and bend it out. So I tried taking this shade to put it at my inner corner and it wasn't popping so I'm taking the famous Mary Luminizer highlighter to put it at my inner corners and instantly it gives a very beautiful glow. And here I just want to be highlight on flick so I'm going to take this Mary Luminizer highlighter and this fan brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to put it at my cheekbones. So here I'm just going to take the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Black Eyeliner and I'm just going to tightline my eyes. Yes, this look kind of dangerous and kind of scary but once you get used to it, it's very good. And I'm going to take this black out shade from the Naked 2 palette. It's a matte black and I'm going to line my eyes before I do a liquid eyeliner. So this tip is actually quite useful so you won't make any mistakes when you're doing the liquid eyeliner. So here I'm just going to take take the NYC liquid liner and I'm just gonna follow the traces of the black matte shadow. Time for mascara. So I'm gonna take my eyelash color which is actually quite dirty right now. I need to go clean it up and I'm gonna take my lower my low Roller Lash from Benefit and I'm just gonna coat my lashes with these. And also taking this Maybelline Fall Seas Mascara to line my lower lash line because I love the brush of this. It really gets all the nooks and crannies of my lower lash line. So that completes this makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what future videos would you like to see. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.